your thoughts on that? I mean, you're so close to winning the game. You must be disappointed in the end. So I've got a point that you might have thought a decent result at the start of the day. Well, I'm disappointed in the respect that the players gave so much again. You know, um, they're a difficult side to, to play against, especially here at their home ground. Um, they seem to find their best form in front of the TV cameras, there's no doubt about that. Um, but after a terrific start and then pegging us back, we, we showed a lot of character again to get ourselves in front. And uh, I thought we, we coped with their, their uh, long ball strategy very well in the second half. I thought we, we pushed the lines quicker and, uh, and, and forced them to kick um, and, and challenge in, in deeper positions. So we were much better at that and uh, I thought we'd seen the game out. I thought it was a very professional second half performance. and. Uh, I'm bitterly disappointed for the players because at half time I spoke about certain things that I needed to see and I've seen that in the abundance in the second half and it was bar a, a refereeing decision in the final seconds that cost us the game. Your views on, on, on the handball? I've not seen it. I can honestly say I've not seen it, uh, so it would be wrong for me to, to cast any judgement on that. Got off to a flying start. It looks like you, you, you could almost have killed the game in the first 15 minutes. Yeah, after the two, um, Callum had a, another big opportunity that I think resulted in deflection and hit the post. We were outstanding in the opening, say, sorry, in the opening 15, 20 minutes of the game. And uh, you know, again, our two strikers were outstanding today, working extremely hard out of possession, but in possession they were a real threat all afternoon. And uh, you know, and the rest of the team, as I've said, worked very, very hard today on on a. What, what I consider to be a, a difficult venue. I mean, you talk a lot about the development of the game in this country. Well, you know, if Bradford or anything go by, you know, that was dark age football. I was bitterly disappointed in the way they go about their business. You know, it's long ball football, absolutely no build up play. And uh, and again, you know, the game must improve in this country, and if it's going to improve, it has to improve. In, in a better passing game. Was that the subject of your discussion with Phil Parkinson? No, at the end of the game? I, I, Phil, Phil Parkinson said to me after the game something that I'll not repeat on here because it would get another manager in real trouble, real trouble. But I've never in my time as a football manager, and it's not been a long time, it's been possibly four and a half years, had anybody say what Phil Parkinson said to me after the game. I thought it was appalling what he said to me, um, really unprofessional what he said to me. And uh, it will stay with me. But I was hugely disappointed in what is supposedly a very experienced man. From the team's point of view, the, the, the players must be in the changing room. What, what, what's their, their mood? They must be very down in the changing room. They're not very down. For our supporters, that's Phil Parkinson yeah. in the background. Yeah. You know, you can see the type of level of uh, maturity in his, in his, uh, in his aftermath. Um, Situation, but anyway, let's let, let's talk about my team. And my team were exceptional. They worked so very hard, um, and I think that by the reaction of our supporters, they're exceptionally proud at the way they're doing about things just now. I think what I meant is, do, I mean, do you have to lift them after that a little bit because obviously they, they, they thought that they won the game. No, no, because uh, they know how hard they work, and when you work as hard as our team are working. You can accept disappointments. You know, if you lose games without working in the manner that we are doing, then there's disappointment. But if you're asking me, can the players give any more just now? No, they can't, so they shouldn't be disappointed. The other card for Connor Thomas so it doesn't mean that he misses the next game. Yes, and again, um, we'll call on Adam Barton, who, you know, I said after the uh, the game at uh, Wimbledon, quit himself very well. But uh, I went back to the team that's, you know, served us extremely well this season and. Uh, and you know, throughout the shoot, throughout the game, I thought John Fleck again was terrific today. And your team has continued to score great goals. I mean, that Callum Wilson third goal, that finish was something very special. Yeah, and I think after today, I think we returned to the, the top of the goal scoring charts ahead of Leighton Orient, and I think that that's testament to the type of football we're playing, the fast, exciting, breaking football. And uh, you know, I think for everybody, it's been a, a you know a, a, a real good three or four months with, you know, real progression and, uh, you know, I know these supporters want to see that style of football. Um, many of them have said to me they've been starved of that type of football for, for many years. I know Matt Robbins came in and did a wonderful job at this football club, he really did. But uh, I don't just want us to win games, I want us to win games in a certain style and, you know, I hope that uh, our supporters are enjoying the football. We're brilliant again today and, uh, and you know, our run, our unbeaten run, shall I say, continues. And when you come up to get to the dark age football, you talk about the long ball football. There. Is that something you, you perhaps got to learn to, to deal with a little bit, a little bit better, perhaps? 
Well, you know, they've got a good record here over the, the course of a, a number of years. They've had some incredible scalps here. You know, the Arsenals of this world couldn't cope with that. The Aston Villas couldn't cope with that. So you're getting top teams not being able to cope with that style of football. I thought on the whole we did deal with it relatively well, but it's difficult. It's difficult because on every single opportunity they have, they bang it forward and into your box, and uh, it becomes a game of a lottery, and that's the difficulty of it. And, and the thousands or millions that watch it on television, you'll feel that you know, they, they'll see your team's performance as being, as being the one that to, to enjoy. Absolutely. I hope that we we try and play the game in the correct manner. We work exceptionally hard out of possession and pressurising the game. And in possession, we look to play, and we look to play with speed. Um, and, and I hope, as I've said, that people enjoyed that. But uh, again, I'm really pleased with the players. Um, we've gone now, you know, seven, eight games uh, without really experiencing defeat, and it's a wonderful run for ourselves.